Hello everyone and welcome to the Princess Diana News YouTube channel. Meg's latest move shows she may be very smart and ready for her big break with Harry. I know, I know, I'm going on and on about the same topic, but the reality is becoming more and more clear that Meghan is teasing Harry and doubling down on him in this marriage game. You also talked about this very passionately in my video, the weird signs that prove a broken marriage, but we'll talk about that later in the video because I'm so excited to get this latest update. Present to you. Guys, I'm afraid we're at the end of time, Princesses Beatrice and Eugenie walked the red carpet at Vogue World 2023 in London at almost the same time on Friday in designer outfits, while Meghan Markle was in Germany wearing a head-to-toe ensemble. A rather depressing brown dress, fresh in the air. Like she was some kind of Midwestern farmer. We've witnessed some strange things in the past few years since Brexit, haven't we? But what we saw in Dusseldorf this week was undoubtedly remarkable. Meghan Markle is no longer wearing Celine or Valentino like she did at last year's event. She said goodbye to the $70,000 worth of designer memorabilia she wore to the 2022 event. We also didn't get to see the shiny, dried-up Meghan we saw in 2022, which was groomed so many times until it couldn't handle it anymore. Unlike Meghan's glamorous outfits we've seen in the past, what we saw in Dusseldorf was completely different. Her wardrobe was surprisingly sparse. She wore jeans and ballet flats and shades of black and brown, a neutral palette that makes us wonder if her stylist went blind. It was obviously completely intentional that IT wasn't just that Megan threw some rumpled clothes into the boot of the boat before running to the airport. In fact, I think Megan knows what she's doing, yet her style is so mediocre. Megan attempted to clean out her wardrobe this week, seemingly ensuring the spotlight and focus remained on the competition and Harry. I can only assume Meghan Markle is doing her best to reassure us that she's not trying to steal the spotlight. As Victoria Ward points out, at the Telegraph assistants were keenly aware of the importance of the value of her wardrobe and were at pains to emphasize that her clothes were vintage or secondhand, Meghan nearly derailed that plan when she wore 1,300 pairs of Hermes sneakers to a gaming event. Well, of course, we haven't discussed the little ring yet. This thing is said to be worth $96,000, but we don't really know where it came from. Now, if you ask me, this is completely unnecessary and I think is the symbolic pinnacle of overcare and overprivilege. Regardless, it's clear that Meghan is trying to stop anyone from attacking her for her expensive clothing choices. Instead, we see Duchess Dumpy, who looks ready to hit them all. However, one big difference from Meghan's attendance at last year's Olympics, where she wore multiple outfits each day, was that the Netflix team who filmed the event for Harry's recently released documentary, The Unbeatable, were also present. This year is a little different. Netflix's two Harry and Meghan series, Heart and Harry and Meghan, premiered not long ago. Both documentaries elicited mixed reactions and opinions. So this time there are no cameras following them and ready to record their concerns. And after a difficult year in which Meghan and Harry's brand has weakened, it seems that someone, somewhere has thought long and hard about where Meghan and Harry can go from here. So I can only assume that Meghan's very conservative participation in the games is part of the carefully planned development of Meghan and Harry's empire that will never exist. I mean, Meghan and Harry have always been together for years. They were the bogos of the royal family, for example, I'm sure many of you remember how Harry surprised everyone in 2019 when he appeared with Meghan at a round table on gender equality with the Queen's Trust and One Young World. Well, it looks like they've switched strategies and now Meghan and Harry are pursuing different careers. It seems that Hollywood fame is still Meghan's main goal. He tried to get close to very important people. People who can influence stock prices or give the green light to very big budget projects. People like Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos and Amazon's Jeff Bezos. And what about his Instagram account? 
well, she currently has about 128,000 subscribers. How could we forget about this new business, website, or whatever she has coming soon? They talked about it for a long time and I didn't even want to talk about it anymore. But at least from our perspective, it looks like Harry isn't interested. Maybe he'll end up filming a new Netflix series about conservation in Africa. And it will definitely be a worthwhile trip. But so far Harry's ambitions in life seem very limited. He is interested in charity and is interested in making enough money to feed and drink his bodyguards, and of course, he spends a lot of time at home playing video games, smoking joints, and eating magic mushrooms, but Harry never seemed to want to play the Hollywood game. He doesn't seem to mind being invited to fancy Hollywood parties. Meghan and Harry do appear to be going their separate ways, at least from a professional perspective. So that means they give each other space to lead in the media breathing space. So, okay, I guess that explains why Megan is wearing some pretty boring clothes. Well, now I want to discuss with you some of the comments you made in our previous video about Harry and Meghan split. So without further ado, let's get started. Well, first off, I like this comment from Jerry. Most people in the US are embarrassed and they know he is from the US. Thought, and this is an opinion that I share, and I think most of you share. And then we have PR in the world that can make us forget about the irreverent bow Megan made on the Netflix show. It was embarrassing. It was a shame. And I think that is one of the things that we will never forget that IT doesn't matter how hard they try to act like they've changed, or how hard they try to act like they're actually good people. For me, this is a real stumbling block. I think many of you do too. Well, now Patricia says, I don't think it's going to get them anywhere and just further away from their goals. One is just as bad as the other, fewer and fewer people feel sorry for him. Interestingly, his words were better than hers. He is lazy and selfish. Doesn't it say a lot that idiot Harry can give a better speech than Meghan? He thought the common word salad would be meaningless, but it certainly wasn't. Megan, you should try a little harder. And Susan also shared her thoughts on Megan and Harry's marriage, saying that the relationship was broken before they got married. It was a fitting wedding for Meghan Markle. She was looking for a wealthy Brit to support her, advance her career and do some important PR. Saw that the foolish prince was available, the last five years he proved to the world who and what he was, they are both narcissistic and trying to outdo each other. He was a beginner when he met her, but she taught him well how to lie, cheat, complain, backstab, hurt his family, betray his country, and more. Chapter He Does Learn Quickly We all knew this marriage wouldn't last. In fact, it melted like a milkshake in a hot car, Susan, this is a great comment. I don't even have anything to add. I mean, you hit the nail on the head with that one. Thank you very much for sharing. Then said the blue Russian, I will never forget the silly smile on her face after she laughed at the dying queen and looked at Harry like they were joking. Sick. Sick is a good word for them. They were both very worried. I think that's why most of their actions don't make sense to us. Because most of us are actually sane, rational, and normal people, well, you're probably right. I can't believe I was wrong. Thank you for your comment, Catherine. I also like Ellie's comment. Ellie said, as someone high up said somewhere tonight, whatever decoration she wants you to see, it's a raised hand. It's like she wants you to see how rich she is. The director of Somewhere said so, and it's true. This is real. If you look closely, you can still see the hands she's using. Apparently no one told him that really rich people don't care about showing off their wealth everywhere, next is Julie's comment. Julie says but the queen objected to Meghan and would not know anything about it. When Meghan arrived at the theater for her visit, two or three of the queen's staff were waiting for her. And on the queen's orders, aides confiscated Meghan's engagement and wedding rings and ordered her to board a military plane to Canada. The Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh, 
Edward and Sophie were on board to make sure Megan stayed on the plane and then they got off the plane until the wheels came down before takeoff, the Queen allowed Harry and Meghan to announce to the world that it was their own idea to give up royal duties and step aside, but in reality it was the Queen's inspired decision to permanently banish Meghan from the kingdom. Ways to Eliminate It Meghan from England Harry Chapter Awesome they are two lovers eating pencils and the queen is playing chess. Don't even try to outsmart the queen. She is a talented queen, God save the queen. Ooh, I like this story. And you know what? I would believe it. The queen was not to be messed with and Meghan and Harry clearly didn't realize that they thought they could get one over on her. They thought she was the old lady who cared so much about Harry. He just left it all. And boy, were they wrong. Thanks for sharing this story with us, Julie. The next comment is Peggy's question. You said Meghan Markle and her brother-in-law both have the same disease, called inflammatory disease, Peggy said. Chapter please clarify. I never noticed that with Prince William. In fact, this is the first time anyone has ever talked to me about it, and I've been on this earth for a long time. I like your channel, well, first of all, thank you, Peggy. We love you too. I actually don't even agree with what I said in this video, but I heard people online talking about William using too many, I, statements in his speeches. Now that I listen to him, I no longer care about this. It uses the I instruction that that's true, but personally I don't think he consumes too much. I think William's remarks make sense in context. Megan, well, no, she's just talking about herself and telling stories that no one wants to hear. Thanks for your comment, Peggy, because now I understand how this might be for some people. Like I'm saying Megan and William are somewhat similar in their public speaking abilities, and believe me, I would never say such a thing. William makes sincere and impressive speeches. Megan gives a speech that makes no sense. But anyway, Thanks again for the comment and thanks for the support, Peggy. Okay, now back to the updates. So, in the end, we got to look at Meghan's best attempts at stepping back while Harry struggled to wipe the happy smile off his face as he hugged the competition. I'm curious to what extent this new look is an attempt to soften the overly privileged image of her four figure quilt and her full set of expensive jewelry and diamond rings. Maybe she wants to look a little more attractive. Because based on Megan's approval rating in the United States. Chapter, people are definitely not crazy about Megan, the public princess. According to the latest polls, Megan's approval ratings are currently in negative territory. We have to remember that Megan thinks the public is very stupid and gullible. So I think that's what she's trying to do. I think she was trying to act like a normal, typical American mother. And again we see Megan wearing lots of beige. What an interesting sense of destiny. And you, what do you think of Meghan Markle? Please let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And if you think our videos are useful, don't be afraid to leave a like and share them with someone who needs them.